Hello, this is Courtney from Love Lives On, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own rosary. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have all the materials that you're going to need. So the first thing you'll need is 59 beads of one kind, or you can do 53 of one and six of another color. So today we're going to be using 53 of our beads made from dried funeral flowers. And then we're going to be using six of these gold and black beads. You're also going to need eyelet pins. Eye pins. These pins come in different sizes of the loop on the top. So just put them through your bead and make sure that you have one that's big enough that the pin won't go all the way through. You're also going to need round nose pliers flat nose pliers, and wire cutters. You'll also need a chain, a crucifix, a centerpiece, and three jump rings, which are these tiny little connectors right here. You might need a fourth jump ring if your crucifix does not have one built into it, but ours does, so we only need three today. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take one of your beads and take an eye pin, put it through the hole, and then you want to form another eye pin on the other side. So you're going to bend this. And I'm going to cut it so that it's easier to bend the loop. So it's like this. And you're just going to take it and curl, curl it in so that it's like that. And what you're going to be doing with this is you're going to be connecting 10 beads. So you want 10 sets, or 5 sets, of 10 beads. So then you take your next bead, and do the same thing you just did. Bend it, and cut some of the excess, enough that you have enough room to make a loop. here. Make sure that you pinch the pliers so that you close that loop. And then the next step is connecting them. So I'm going to open the end of the eye pin using my round nose pliers. And take the hoop of the other bead with the eye pin and put it through. And then make sure you tighten that eye pin back so that the metal is touching each other. And these beads are now connected. And you want to repeat this until you have 10 beads and five sets of 10 beads. You also need one set of three beads like this. Once you have your five sets of ten beads, that looks like this, and your one set of three, you want to take your chain and you want to cut every fourth link. So you count one, two, three, four, and cut. And so you have a piece of three links long. Put that off to the side. And you want to keep doing this until you have 14 three-piece long links. So one, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, and four. Keep repeating this process until you have 14 lengths with three lengths in each set. Then you want to take your six different colored beads, ours are black and gold, and do the same thing that you did with your beads made from dried funeral flowers. So you take the eyelet, the eye pin, and poke it through. a bit. Cut the excess so you just have enough to make a little loop. Use your round nose pliers to form a loop. It takes a lot of practice to perfect this, and I've not got there yet. Make the best loop you can. Make sure you close it off tight. And then instead of connecting them all together, like we did with these ones, you want to take one of your pieces of chain and open up the eyelet on each side. You want to put one piece of three link chain on one side of the bead. sure that you tighten your eyelet open. and then you want to do the same thing on the other side. Just open the eye pin, put a piece of three link chain in, and then close it tight. And you want to do the same thing with each of the six beads. Once you've completed that for each of the six beads, you will have used 12 of the 14 of your pieces of chain link. Then, you want to take one of your rows of 10 beads, and you want to attach another piece of link to one of the ends. And then you want to do the same thing for another set of 10. So your two remaining chain links will be attached to one end of each set of 10, totaling two, like so. Next, you want to take your centerpiece and your tiny jump rings. And you want to, using your flat nose pliers and your round tip pliers, just pull the jump ring apart and put it through the hoop of the centerpiece. three jump rings that need to be fastened. Patience is key because you're working with a very tiny area here. are 
then you do the same thing for all three. Now for the bottom jump ring of your centerpiece, you want to attach one of your six different colored beads. So again, you're going to loosen that chain, last chain ring, using your round and flat nose pliers, just pull it apart that and then take your jump ring, slide it in, and then push it back together. Make sure it's tight so it doesn't fall apart. So then it looks like that. Then you want to take your set of three, the beads made from dried funeral flowers, and you want to loosen up this eye pin, the top loop, and just slide the end of this chain. forget to tighten it with your round nose pliers. Tight, tight, tight. So that looks like that. Then I'm going to loosen the other end like this. And now you're going to attach your crucifix that you've already attached one of the six other beads onto with the chain. So slide that last chain link in through the eyelet pin. And pinch to close it tight. you have three sets of ten beads left and four of your six different colored beads. So what you're going to do now is on the top of these ten here that comes off from the centerpiece, you're going to take the eye pin and open it up and you're going to attach one of these six different colored beads with the chain onto your beads made from dried funeral flowers and then you want to pinch it tight so that it looks like that and then you want to do the same thing on the other side. So you want to open it, slide in the chain like that, and then make 
make sure that you close back up the eye pin. It looks like that. Ooh. It looks like this. Then I'm going to take another set of 10. Open the eye pin on one end and attach it to the other side of the chain coming out of the bead, different colored bead, and pinch it shut. And then you're going to do the same thing again, attaching different colored B. So now all you're doing is alternating from adding a different color, one of the six different colored beads, to adding another row of ten, to adding another one of the different six different colored beads, and then you're going to add another ten, another one of the different colored beads, another ten, and then attach them and you're completely done. And once you've assembled the rest, this is your finished product. A beautiful handcrafted rosary. And this is a perfect gift that you can give to family members. And it's made from beads that have been made from dried funeral flowers. And it looks very beautiful. And there you are. This is Courtney from Love Lives On. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like what you see for more ideas on how we can celebrate our lives now and forever.